Welcome back to my channel. This is Debt Free CF, and I'm doing my December budget check in. So, um, first thing is, I had a little bit of income that carried over from the paycheck at the end of November into December. So, I had calculated um, down to the day how much per day should be carried over after a few um, purchases from um, Black Friday sales. And so, here I've got the next paycheck that came in. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into this particular um, cell right here. Um, just put the notes on the side to make it easy. So paycheck in there brings up the amount of income for the month so far, and then there'll be one more paycheck. And so I had been negative at the bottom in terms of the variance or the difference between my income and my outgo, um, but it was because I work a month ahead, so I knew, for one, like I haven't um, spent all of the amount that I have budgeted for food, and I um, had... Uh, money sitting in the account already that could be used while waiting for the paycheck to come back in kind of to like reimburse myself almost um, but really to just um, contribute to for example the Roth IRA deposit or um, upcoming rent payment for next month and so forth that's what it it's like when you're working a month ahead so I've got some notes down here that are just going to be to fill in. So on this particular one, um, I've got a couple of grocery transactions. So if you put an equal sign at the beginning, just in case you're not aware of how Google Sheets works, it'll turn it into a formula and it'll do the math for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and it adds it all up. I think this might be a little bit low, like there might have been one more transaction, but when I was double checking this morning, my bank site is undergoing maintenance, so can't look, but that's okay. Um, so I've got that filled in and then um, spent $25 on gas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move that over here. Um, should turn that into a dollar, there we go. Um, rent already got taken out. Uh, utilities, which is really utilities from last month that get paid like on the 12th of this month, are already taken out. My contribution towards the cell phone plan that I'm on with my partner, that was already paid for. And then I don't anticipate any kind of medical expenses. Even when I was sick, the closest thing was like used up some uh, flu medication that was in the cabinet. Um, these things right here are part of the other gifts and um, just kind of like things for Christmas that have been purchased. So I'm going to put that in there. And then these next two are actually both miscellaneous. One is just related to my company had a holiday party and um, had to pay for like a Uber or Lyft to get there and then um, to get back. So that's kind of where this came from. Uh, I'm going I'm going to combine them, but I just kind of wanted to keep the breakdown separate. I'm going to just go ahead and throw that into the fun and dates type of thing. And then the other amount, well, let me use a plus at the end while I'm still talking. Um, the other amount is like bought some treats for the cat and um, I don't remember. So just kind of some miscellaneous stuff. So let me go ahead and copy that information. So in here we're going to add it. And so in terms of tracking in the expenses area, I still have unspent amount, which is pretty close to the amount that I want to send to retirement. And then I still have another paycheck coming in within the month, as well as um, food that will need to be purchased. I'm trying to think of if there's any other anticipated expenses. Not doing any other pet purchases. The treats was just because we happened to run out. Otherwise, I would have normally um, pulled them through with the chewy delivery that I do every couple months. Um, 
but it looks good. I mean, if this stays the way it is, I'll be able to fully fund the Roth IRA plus start saving some to go towards um, Korea, which I'm going to go visit a good friend in Korea sometime next um, summer, about summertime. Yeah, so doing pretty well. Um, it's kind of the end of the year. Don't go out quite as much. I find that I do more spending in the summer because the weather's a little bit nicer, so I'm kind of itching to get out of the house. And then in the winter, I'm okay to just stay home and watch a movie. But I mean, everything's planned out anyway. It's just, I've noticed that kind of habit. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you all are doing well with your budgets and um, your check-ins are keeping you on track. I know that December can definitely be kind of crazy if you're um, overspending on gifts or you're traveling a lot or um, you're purchasing more food than you normally would because you're cooking like special meals and so forth. Um, but I don't quite see that happening I'm going to be working on Christmas Day and probably working on New Year's Day, so there's a little bit less going on with that as well. But I do have a kind of a holiday party coming up this weekend where it's a gift exchange and like making cookies at somebody's house, just kind of for fun. And the gift exchange limit was either $15 or $20. It was pretty low. So that was actually um, in with the gifts part of is it this month? Um, no, the gift parts of last month because I happened to grab it kind of when I was cyber shopping anyway. <laughs> but that's my check-in. Um, I do have a um, template and um, budget tutorial that's going to be coming out um, in the next couple of days that how to set up this kind of budget layout in Excel rather than in Google Sheets, which is what I'm using right now. So if you are interested in that and want to see how to set it up, it's pretty similar to the other video, but come on back and check it out. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, um, if you want to get notifications, you can subscribe and you'll find out when another video is posted to the channel. And the channel is Debt Free CF. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Um, have a great weekend and see you soon.